If you ever have to have a phone replaced under warranty, more than likely you're going to end up with a refurbished unit, which means you don't really know what the problem was with that phone before it was repaired. In this situation, we have an iPhone that has no home button among a number of other problems. So in this video, I just wanna show you how you can get around that problem and then we'll figure out later what we're gonna do with this phone. Well, it sure looks like a brand new phone, doesn't it? So the moment we powered this up, the first thing that we noticed is the home button doesn't work. So obviously getting past the activation screen might be a little tricky on this one. And I just want to make sure it's clear. This home button does absolutely nothing. So I don't know what this phone's been through, but we'll have to open it up and kind of figure out what to do from there. But in this case right now, all you have to do is power the phone down. And I've got to be patient here. I always get ahead of myself and think that it should be powered off. And it's not, I'm not sure why it takes so long for these to shut down, but we'll give it another second or two here. And now we can go ahead and turn it back on. And as you can see, if you act quickly enough, you will be past that first welcome screen. You can go directly into the activation option, choose your language and connect to Wi-Fi or whatever it is that you're going to use, and you can go ahead and set up the phone. The only thing about this phone is that when I went to that next step, there is no Wi-Fi and I'm sitting right next to my router. So I really don't know what this phone has been through, but it's got two problems so far and we haven't even opened it up yet. So this will most likely go back to Apple. I'm really kind of surprised that it got out the door or past quality control, but this phone is pretty worthless without the home button or the Wi-Fi option being functional. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and connect this to the computer and complete the setup through iTunes since we have no Wi-Fi. But I did want to be able to show you how you can operate your phone without a functional home button, even if it's already activated. All right, now check out this next part. I just went right past the Touch ID option. So this phone obviously has multiple issues and it said uh, failed, but I wasn't trying to set it up. So let's see if we can just skip past this. Okay, and we don't want a passcode. And yes, I'm sure I don't want a passcode. I don't want a passcode and I don't want a passcode. Okay, and we're going to set this up as a new phone and agree to whatever that says. Nobody ever reads this stuff. And we'll go ahead and continue here. Set up later. Don't want Siri. And I don't want to share anything with any developers. So all this stuff can just go away and we can now get started. And let's choose our click. Oh, nope, can't do that without a home button. I will go with the standard zoom and we are ready to use our iPhone, except it doesn't have a home button. Remember, that was the catch, right? So what do we do in this situation? Because now you can't unlock the screen without the home button, or can you? Actually, yes, you can. Swipe over to the right and you see that little search option at the top of the screen. Well, all I had to do at this point was type in settings, but I was messing around with the phone trying to figure out a few other options. So what you want to do is end up on that screen that gives you the search option and type in settings. But I'm going to show you here in just a second from the beginning what I did from start to finish, and it is a very fast process. So all we do is hit the power button, swipe to the right, and you'll see that we have a search option up at the top. If you don't already have settings as a shortcut, you can type in settings and that will bring up your settings screen. From here, what we wanna do, since our home button doesn't work, is scroll down to general, accessibility, and then go down to your assistive touch and go ahead and turn that on for now, at least until you get your home button fixed. So from now on, anytime you power up your phone, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is tap on that assistive touch icon, hit the home button, and you are unlocked. If your phone has a passcode, just punch it in after you press on the home icon. If you found the video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out our weekly Tech Talk live stream. Have a great one and thanks for watching.